Free Relief Modeling is a process of using three different tools within Carveco. These tools are the Relief Cookie Cutter, the Transform tool, and the Relief Clip Art Library. The Relief Cookie Cutter allows you to free up the relief and places you directly within the Transform tool, ready for making adjustments. Here you can see that I have a relief that I would like to make smaller and create some sort of pattern with it. It can be turned into floating clip art, which is always blue, by selecting the Relief Cookie Cutter tool, which is located on the top toolbar. It can then be resized as you would any other entity. If you select inside the bounding box, you can move the part and selecting outside allows you to rotate. I want to move the blue rotation anchor point to the bottom of the relief so that I can rotate around it. If I select control on the keyboard and hold it down, it will create a copy. If I also hold down alt, it will give an angle snap. You can also see in real time how these reliefs will interact with each other before pasting down. I'm keeping a 90 degree angle snap on this whilst moving by holding down Alt on the keyboard. The red arrow on the clip art allows for real time Z height adjustment, but you can also enter in the Z height dialog a specific size. Make sure that you have the correct combine mode selected prior to pasting the reliefs down by toggling the icon at the bottom of the dialog. The default for this is Merge High, but here I have changed it to Add, and it's not the correct combine mode for these pieces. If you want to change this, just select the Undo icon and it will go back to Floating Clip Art. You just need to select the clip art and then select Transform or use the shortcut T on the keyboard. To paste the clip art down, either select Paste in the dialog or press enter on the keyboard. You can free this up again at any time by using the relief cookie cutter and again create copies if you wish to do so. Not only can the cookie cutter free up a whole relief, it can also free up an area within a selected vector. Just select the vector to act as a boundary and then select the relief cookie cutter. This will turn any relief within the vector into floating clip art, which can then be modified. Here, I am creating a mirrored copy and adjusting the heights to give this fairy a set of wings. Note, I have pasted these down to a new layer, so the wings and the fairy body are on separate layers, allowing for easy modifications later if needed.